Okay, secret number 10, delivery method for your educational piece. And I'm showing you three things here that I think are the, um, the quickest, uh, the cheapest, and arguably the most effective things that you can be doing to deliver your educational piece. So first one is uh, Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook Lives can work incredibly well if you have an audience to speak to. I mentioned earlier about the use of your personal page where you could turn that into more of a business page. I appreciate that if it's been a personal page up until this point that's going to take a little bit of work to turn that around but it can be done and that's a place where you can be uh, doing your Facebook lives. I also mentioned having your own personal um, Facebook group that you create another good place to do Facebook live but again it's a great place to jump on and hopefully be speaking to your uh, ideal clients. So that's one delivery method, that's one way of doing it, Facebook Lives. Uh, number two, you've got webinars. Uh, webinars are great for lots of different reasons. Uh, one of the great reasons for webinars is people don't have to travel anywhere. They can do it from the comfort of their own home. Uh, they can have the screen on, the screen off. I typically use Zoom. Some people choose to have the camera turned off. Some people like to have the camera on or choose to have the camera on. Uh, good news about webinar is I say apart from them not having to travel anywhere is that you can then record that webinar and you can send that out to people who maybe didn't attend the webinar or you could just make it an what we call an evergreen webinar that you have sat on a page that you have and whenever you do any sort of short educational pieces you may be directing people back to watch that webinar that's a bit more meaty and takes them a bit deeper on a topic that you may be talking about. So that's two things that you can do online uh, to get people, um, you know, your interested ideal audience in front of you. And just going back to the uh, Facebook Live one, you can actually record that as well, so it's not a one-time thing. It can be recorded and it can be reposted at a later date, just like the webinar can be reposted. And then number three, you've got live events where you speak to people live. Again, I've done that before. That's me in our local health food shop, a uh, shop called Well and Natural. Um, and I would say trying to get bums on seats is more of a challenge. You know, trying to get people to come out of their homes is more of a challenge than it is getting people, I think, online watching from the comfort of their own home. Because let's be honest, if you go to a webinar, and I've been to webinars in the past where I've not been that interested, and it's easy just to hit the uh, exit button and just, you know, log off and go away. Whereas coming out, there is a sense of you've turned up you won't get many people turn up to a live event and stand up and walk out halfway through no matter how bad the presenter is uh, people tend to sit and tough it out right to the very end but there are three methods there that you could potentially use for delivering your educational piece as an educator Facebook live webinar live or recorded and face-to-face -face at a location and again the face-to-face -face at locations don't have to be uh, something where you're trying to drive all the traffic there so I worked in conjunction with the health food shop they put it on their social media posts they had flies in their shops I mentioned earlier I did one at DSTL a lunch and learn event uh, that was a live event that I did and they put all the marketing materials out there for me but I would say live events are more a little bit more challenging I would say to get people there but if you get people there and you've followed all the steps that I've said up until this point, all the different secrets I've mentioned, and you get people in front of you, there's a high possibility that a percentage of those people that have turned up will want to purchase from you. Okay, so that's secret number 10, your delivery. Mm -hmm.